Hi everyone, welcome to Edipedia World. In the last class, we discussed regarding different methods of hedging. One of the method is forward market hedge, where both the parties have an obligation to perform their own part, their respective parts. So if a bank and a customer has entered into a forward contract, let's say a purchase forward contract. So in such scenario, the bank has to purchase after that specified period and the customer has to sell that amount after that specified period. But what will happen if, for example, there is an importer. An importer has to make a payment after three months. So he enter into a forward sale agreement with the bank. But due to some scenario, due to some situation, the importer has not received its good and does not have to make the payments after three months. Or he does not have that much fund that he can make the payment after three months. Then he has to cancel that contract with the bank. But bank does not have only one customer for such transaction. It has a purchase sale contract. Then the bank has made an arrangement of a purchase contract with some other customer. So if one customer deny, the customer, the bank will be at a losing position because it has an, another contract also after that specified period. So cancellation could be either on the maturity date or before the maturity date. So to safeguard themselves against the loss because of the cancellation, the bank recover that loss from the customer. So if let's take first scenario when the cancellation is at maturity date. So two types of agreement. One is forward purchase agreement by bank and the other is for forward sale contract by bank. So if there is a forward purchase contract by bank and let's say that the contract period is two months. So after two months, there is also a selling agreement by the bank in which the bank is earning certain margin. But after two months, the customer with whom the bank has the forward purchase agreement takes a step back and cancel that forward contract. But the bank has to meet the forward sale agreement. I'm taking this as a theoretical example. This is general assumptions also. It's not necessary that they have a forward sale agreement on the same day, but usually they have. So the bank has to sell that to the other customer. So whatever earnings that the bank earns by entering that into the forward agreement that will be losing to safeguard himself what bank will do whatever purchase rate is there which is being the original forward rate which is being determined bank will purchase at that rate and then will sell the customer at the spot merchant rate whatever loss is there that loss will be borne by the original customer similarly if the bank has entered into a forward sale contract so whatever contract period is there the bank will sell you at that forward original forward rate that is the bank will compute the loss if the transaction has been actually incurred but since that transaction has not been incurred the bank either has to buy or sell at the spot merchant rate so whatever loss that the bank has to incur because of not fulfilling that contract and the bank has to buy or sell at the spot rate that loss is to be recovered from the customer so if there is a forward sale contract by the bank bank will say that what if, if that obligation has been fulfilled he will sell at that forward sale rate but since that has not been obligated there so the bank has to buy back at the spot merchant rate and if there is any loss that loss will be recovered from the customer but in case there is such profit in this nothing will be recovered but nothing will be paid off to the customer similarly happens in an early cancellation but in early cancellation, the bank has another obligation at the specified rate. So if there's a forward purchase contract by bank, bank will purchase at original forward rate, but will sell at the customer at a forward selling rate prevailing on the date of cancellation and goes same with the forward sale contract by bank. So bank will sell at the original forward rate, but buy back at the forward rate prevailing on the date of cancellation to the due date of original contract let's do an example and this will clear all your doubts a bank had booked a forward purchase contract with the customer for us dollar 2,50,000 at a rate of us dollar 1 33.50 delivery on october 30th on september 30th the customer approaches so there is an early cancellation case the customer approaches bank with a request to cancel the forward purchase contract. So there is a forward purchase contract. So whatever the bank has to purchase today, the bank will treat it in the same way if the transaction has been done. But since the contract has not been fulfilled, whatever the loss the bank has bear because of 
selling it at spot merchant rate, the bank will recover that loss from the customer. What will be the cancellation charges of the bank if following are the rates of interbank market on September 30th? Spot US dollar 1 is 34.74 to 35.08. One month forward is 8 to 15 paisa per US dollar. Two months forward is 31 to 41 paisa per US dollar. Three months forward is 60 to 70 paisa per US dollar. The bank is to load an exchange margin of 0.15%. So when there is an exchange market, we have to first compute that what will be the bank rate after computing the exchange margin. So to compute those rate, what will be the interbank spot rate? 35.08. In this, we will add 0.15 exchange margin. So the effective interbank one month forward ask rate will be 35.23. Plus the exchange market. So when we add the forward swap, which is 0.15, then the exchange margin which is equal to 0.15%. So 0.15% of 35.23 is 0.528. So the merchant one month forward ask rate of dollar one will be 35.2828. The merchant rate is always four decimals. The bank rate will be for two decimals. So this will be rounded off to two decimals. The effective rate will be 35.28. The contract size is 2,50,000. So bank will sell at 35.28 and will buy at 33.5. So there is a loss of 1.78 per dollar. The contract size is of 2,50,000. So bank will recover from customer 4,45,000. Correct? Right? So the next is, we discussed that when there's a disequilibrium situation, there's some, some riskless gain or arbitrage position is there. So how the arbitrage is taking the benefit or you can say the advantage of discrepancy in the prices of an asset which is existing at different rate in different markets and arbitrage can get a benefit. So there are spot market arbitrage and a forward market arbitrage. So spot market when the arbitrage takes the benefit because of the differences in the spot market rate in different markets. So let's say that pound one is rupees 80 in India and US dollar one is equal to rupees 50. But pound one in US is equal to 1.62 in UK. So if I have pound one, how can I take the arbitrage from the above situation? So there is one arbitrage rule. The rule to earn arbitrage profit is to buy from the market where the currency is cheap and sell the currency where it is a higher price. So for a spot market, the transaction has to be simultaneously occur. You have to buy from one market and sell it to the other market. To make the profit, you have to buy it from the market where it is cheap and sell it to the market where it is expensive. So pound one is 1.62 in UK. 1.62 in UK means 1.62 into 50 is equal to pound one, which is more than rupees 80. And pound one is rupees 80 in India. So pound one is cheaper in India as compared to USA. So arbitrage profit is possibility is there. So what we'll do, we'll convert this pound one in UK and receive dollar, which is dollar 1,62,000. This dollar could be converted into Indian rupee, which equals to rupees 81 lakh. This 81 lakh rupees will then be converted into US dollar again, which is will be converted into pound, which is equals to 1 lakh 1,250 pounds. So you have actually buy from pound one, one lakh pound, and you have actually received one lakh one thousand two hundred fifty pound. So the arbitrage can make a benefit of one thousand two hundred fifty. Next is forward market arbitrage. So forward market arbitrage is taking the riskless gain in the forward market. So in such scenario also, the forward market rate is different in different localities, in different geographical location. The arbitrage enter into a forward agreement with all these localities, buy from a geographical location where it is selling cheap and sell it in a location where it is expensive and making a arbitrage gain out of it. The next is covered intra arbitrage. This is because the IRTP assumptions are not met and the spot rate and forward rate differential is not equal to the interest rate differential. So covered interest arbitrage is by borrowing in one currency and then repaying the balance in another currency. So for covered interest arbitrage, let's say that you borrow an amount of X amount in one currency. 
then you have to convert that currency into another currency at a spot exchange rate so this is similar to money market hedge the way you did it then you invest that amount in money market and recover the principal amount plus the amount in the borrowing currency amount you repay back that amount but you will result you will have a arbitrage gain in your pocket this is similar to what you did in money market hedge it's like that in money market hedge you have an export bill or an import bill to be paid or to be received in arbitrage gain in covered interest arbitrage you just enter into these transaction to make that benefit so as an example you have a spot rate of dollar 1 of 42.0010 and the 6 month forward rate of 42.8020 the interest rate in rupee is 12% and in dollar it is 8% so what are the arbitrage possibilities are there so if you borrow dollar 1 lakh at 8% per annum for 6 months and convert it into spot exchange rate so you are borrowing in us currency and then you are converting that amount in indian currency you will receive a net amount of 42 lakh 100 rupees then you invested it into india for 6 months at 12% per annum you will receive 44 lakh 52106 rupees then whatever amount that you have received after 6 months you have to repay that amount in dollar so you will convert this indian rupee again into dollar after 6 months and you will receive 1 lakh 4016 dollar how much amount you have borrowed 1 lakh the interest that you have to pay over it is 4000 rupees so the total amount that you have to pay back in dollar is 1 lakh 4000 and after 6 months you have 1 lakh 4016 rupees in hand by making a profit of 16 dollar and this is the arbitrage gain that's all in this chapter in case you have any query please leave a comment and i thank you so much and have a nice day